So hello and welcome to a new chapter of the Houdini journey and today they announced the Houdini 20.5 release and Houdini 25 offers so many new abilities, procedural ways and interactive creations and as you can see here one thing of their release is the MPM solver that lets you simulate materials such as snow, soil, mud, concrete, metal, water can also be used for destruction shots. They also released the RBD car rig that converts your geometry into a drivable dynamic rig with constraints for suspensions and with a motor and so on. Yeah, pretty awesome release actually. Really looked forward to this. And yeah, you can see. So, just uh, another example here of example the from the interaction of fluids and the MPM solver, like a mud scene with wet maps generated and everything. So, pretty intense and awesome stuff for the simulation world. And also here, a ship that is sailing through the sand with the MPM solver. Something that the community has waited for a long time. There's also the possibility to uh, simulate snow with, with the MPM solver, like this avalanche here. You can see this massive destruction and debris and smoke, dust, everything is happening. We have here the ability to design snow plows and snow elements in real uh, life situations and also for the hot days we can make some ice cream with this incredible solver solver what's also very impressive is the mpm car fx as you can see here they used this tire mud scene to drive this <clears throat> missive car through the mud la uh, landscape and here we can see a setup where the tire is swirling around all the mud particles and elements or the car crash where the body of the car is simulated like a denting metal which is often a, an element in visual effects that is used a lot, bend, me, bending metal and kind of fabrics and um, iron, steel and element, aluminium and stuff like that. And can also be used for destruction purposes like this building destruction here. And this is what makes this MPM solver so flexible and so... Uh, unique for different uh, fields of use and found now its way to the Houdini world. We have here an example of the RBD car rig, the rigid body destruction car rig, where the object can be rigged and followed along a spline through the scene and can drive along the spline and also to the adjustments of, a, of, this, of the path and you can add also into two separate cars that then smash together in a realistic way and we have the vellum fluids vellum is a solver that has a long way into houdini and is also used for cloth simulations for hair simulations grass simulations and now they enhance the fluid abilities of the vellum solver with the VDB collisions. And it's similar to the MPM solver. So I would say um, that's something that really brightens up the day. And let's jump in right into Houdini and have a look what we can do with the MPM solver and other settings. So here in Houdini 20.5, we have now the ability to use different kinds of setups with the MPM solver and to 
pretty much uh, access them you go into your file node and you hit configure and we have here all the different npm configure packages and i wanted to show you the landslide as this was a setup that caught my mind so it's uh, creating a landslide simulation from scratch which you can then use and modify to your own needs and creations and as you can see here we have here the land uh, slide um, element with the with the npm elements here displayed as, as spheres and the cool thing is that you can make it even even bigger when you go into the split cliff you can see here how with different uh, vdb combine methods they cut out this uh, sphere here and when we go and make the sphere maybe about uh, half the time that it is or maybe even bigger then we get a much um, more impressive result now you can see we have a much bigger piece of landslide elements here which uh, can be detached and simulated in a realistic way and this is happening here in our npm solver all the settings are very familiar with um, other solvers like the fluid solver we have here time scale to slow down or speed up our animation uh, animation elements we can go into the visualization, visualization and we can then uh, change the point scale to something more interesting. You can see now it's fairly small spheres now. And yeah, let's run the simulation and let's see what we get. There's also a ground plane added into the scene from the NPM solver here. And let's hire the sticky amount. Let's hire the uh, friction amount also.